Hey guys, Crowley's back with uh, Pillars of Eternity Episode 2 Redux, or Redo, whatever you want to call it. So, um, I'm here in the ruins of Ceylon Lease with Heoden and Kalisha. So, yes. let's go ahead and get to it. Explore some of the ruins and honestly probably just get out of here. I mean, I've got better things to do with my life than to... That should be far enough. <sighs> but what now? Storm has to die sometime. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, yeah, let's get going. Yeah, he, uh, he's not taking a penalty. That's really cool. Athletics helps out quite a lot. Mike Chasen is still playing Anyland. Hi, Mike Chasen. You're making an appearance in my videos. Someone else has been here. We should move. Oh, I got my mace back. Nice. <laughs> uh, I don't want that to be in the stash. I want that to be... Uh... Nice. So you still take a... That's weird. But you still take a penalty. To deflection. To deflation. Uh, yeah. Oh. Whatever. Um, what's the penalty like with this? 21. Yeah. Eh. Eh. I'll just hang on to the shields, I guess. Okay. Uh, oh, yes. I don't care. Uh, no. Actually, you know what? That was yours. I'll give that to you. I feel bad now. There. And you got lockpicks, and then three daggers, and then one dagger. <laughs> For whatever reason. So. Uh, you have zero interrupt, because you have no perception. Okay. Let's go. sickly creature emerges from the dark. Uh, clutching a spear, knobby elbows and thin ribs show show through its scaly flesh. Uh, but you recognize it as a Zorup. It watches you cautiously between uh, cautiously breathing in ragged sighs. It's okay. I won't hurt you. Zorup recoils, fingers still wrapped tightly around its spear. The creature cocks its head and approaches you. Soft clicking sound emanating from the back of its throat. Uh, raise your arms and stand still. Creature cocks his head and, and approaches you. Soft clicking sound emanating from the back of its throat. Okay. Slowly back away. Alright. Certainly. I just wish there was a way to, like, I guess reason with the creature? Or, like, prove to it that you're not... Um, Look at the tiles. What are those symbols? Um... Escape the ruins. I come back to a section of tiles marked with symbols. Maybe include a meaning nearby. Oh, meaning nearby. Yes, and there it is. Um, it's going to be this way. It's a brandish symbol. I'm pretty sure I saw it on one of the tiles back there. Pretty sure you did too. Here and get some stoof. How did that even turn? Yeah, backstab. Backstab, backstab. Awesome. Absolutely. 
that's kind of a giveaway that you can like click there. What's I guess. that muck on the wall? Muck. Uh, let's see, a viscous, slick, something dark tar like runs down the wall. Shapes, bulges, gross. Uh, it would suggest something lies underneath, but you can't tell what. It's a face. It. This looks like a face. I think this looks like a face. Rinse the away, revealing an intricate relief of a man's face. What did I tell you? The sunburst surrounding it has chipped away in places, but the details of his head, from the tight curls of his hair to ridges of the pointed ears, showcase remarkable craftsmanship. One eye is a socket. A gem. Uh, one eye. One eye socket is empty. A gem fills the other. Um, okay. I'm here. So. Uh, we don't have that gem. There is a gem in another part of this, but now it's sort of like, I should roleplay this, right? Not just go get the gem. You know what? I am going to just roleplay it. We'll call it good. And we're going to go into solo mode here and get... And, and actually, if you... Heoden can actually... Found something. Disarm all these traps. Pro tip, if you make a rogue... And um, yeah, if you make a rogue, or just to have Hayden in your party, you can just disarm all these traps. <laughs> that way, I can just take them across. So now that we've now that we've done that, get out of stealth. Fresh air in here. I think we found an exit. Sounds like the storm path too. Yeah, my guy wouldn't just... He wouldn't just go through and look for loot. He'd, he'd try to find a way to protect these two people. And kill these spiders! Wow, we are... We are just laying waste to these fucking spiders. I'm here. Four figures stand before an otherworldly apparatus, an ancient structure of chiseled, audra, metallic veins, ominous and looming like a silent observer. The figure closest to the machine stands out among them. A thick gray beard frames a face otherwise hidden between metallic masks. Between. His face is hidden between a mask. Wrap your head around that one. Oathbinder, bear witness, and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, Whitaker. and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation. <coughs> In the sight of the queen that Will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forward and be assured of the great worth of your life's course.
For an instant, the apparatus goes quiet in the air is still. Then all at once it erupts with a concussive surge. Light floods your vision and you are knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land and the pain wells into the back of your skull, washing away, uh, washing your last thoughts away into the black unconscious void. You open your eyes to a different place, another time. You stand in a circular room, grand and domed, its walls lined with Audra and trimmed with copper. The style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. At the far end, a great pillar of Audra pierces the floor from below, its shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Encircling the, pi the pillar is an apparatus much like the one you've just seen, but immense and multifaceted and intertwined. Your thoughts are yours and not yours. Oh shit, I wish I would yawn. I know it's late, but... They seem to exist before you think them, and they are all questions. Pressing questions. Trembling questions. Questions that must be answered, or... At the base of the pillar now, you see a man with a thick gray beard and a ceremonial robe, crowned in a strange ornamental headdress. You know this man. You are walking towards him now at a pace that is hurried while trying not to appear so. You have something you want to ask him. One question above all. The question spilled and spins madly in your mind. You awaken to find your malaise is broken, only to be replaced with something far more concerning. Faint whispers, audible at the edge of your hearing, like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. Movement flits through your periphery, but when you look, you can see no sign of whatever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that, an involuntary, paranoid tick. If this is a sickness, it may be dangerous to go without treatment for long. The figures at the machine stand frozen in place, flesh and blood replaced by cinders. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. Aod and Kalisha lie bloody on the uneven cobbles, their bodies twisted unnaturally in death. You are alone and far from help. Gilded Veil may be your best hope of receiving treatment before things get worse. I've leveled up. So you start out the game with runs, and then you become a then you become absolutely fucking insane. <laughs> Which is not necessarily true, so. Excuse that choice, shall we? Excuse me. Everything else can go right in my pack. Oh, I'm gonna level up. And I'm very tired now. Major fatigue. I have major fatigue. Fatigue you. Hmm, let's see. So I'm an explorer, so I probably would explore, but I think I would less be less likely to explore dungeon ruins just and and a lot of the times cuz they simply cuz I know that stuff is there. Um but I feel like you'd explore like wilderness areas and stuff like that. Hmm, probably does do a few dungeon delves and stuff like that, but yeah. Um so we're going to put up athletics by a couple points, I think, and I'm liking the survival thing. So we're going to put up survival. Unused points will carry to the next level, so that's cool. Oh, greater laid on hands. Oh, shielding touch. I'm probably going to have to take that. Modifies lay on hands. Gives it an additional 33.5 uh, endurance, so that's kind of cool. Shielding touch. Modifies lay on hands. Um, whenever the paladin uses lay on hands, the ally gains a deflection bonus. Oh, that's great. Yes. 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 So cool. We'll do that then. Nice. Awesome. Oh god. Definitely a person on a rack.
creepy as fuck. Let's get the fuck out of here. Creepy as fuck. Let's get the fuck out of here. Gonna fucking leave. Gonna fucking leave. 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 Okay. I'm at the maximum. I can't do the supplies. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a rest. Um. Plus one damage reduction, plus one move speed. We'll do damage reduction, I guess. And then we'll just take this guy's camping supply. And then we'll go ahead and take that as well. Let's explore as much as we can without dying too badly. Gonna have some fun tonight. Not a sound. I don't have any perception, so I feel like there's something hidden around here. I can't remember. I feel like I remember that. I just don't think that I can really spot it, so. Alrighty. Explore this whole place. A wolf. One wolf. Oh wow. That's quite a lot of damage. Bump. That's on. Bump, bump, bump. Rump, bump, bump, bump. See, I'm enjoying this a lot more than my uh, Path of the Damned playthrough. It just wasn't fun. The whole point of. Oh, cool. Bestiary. At some point, I, I should. Ooh. Um. Uh. Yeah, the com that combat was kind of easy, but it's just like. I mean, it's one wolf. You know, you're likely to come across one wolf probably in the. In the thing. Hey, dude. Let's talk to this dude. Hail, traveler. Greetings. On your way south, is it? Pale Elf, you look like you're a long way from home. Meaning no offense. Not not sure what brought you down here, but there's no place to go wandering alone. Uh, the sooner you leave these woods, the, the better, I think. I'm only passing through. I mean to reach Gilded Vale. You headed the right way. Shouldn't be too much further, and there's no missing it if you keep on the road. But you'll want to keep clear of, uh, of this place after that. I... we were just attacked. North of here. Me and a friend of mine. We came out here to hunt some deer. Came up on a bear instead. Great monster, monstrous thing. And Pearly... He didn't make it. I don't know what to tell his wife. 
In any case, this forest already cost me a friend. I'm heading home before it takes me. Where did you find this bear? In a cave. A ways up that way. He turns to point to the northwest. I wouldn't seek it out if I were you. It was a great brute of a beast. I would hate to hear that it took another traveler's life. In any case, this forest always cost me a friend. I'm heading home before it takes anything else. Alright, see ya. So, Naunton had a bit of bad luck, I guess. There we go. Alright, a quick save. And take a look around. See if we can't get some stoof. I don't know how many wolves are gonna attack me here. Three. Well, we'll see. I got a lot of healing though. I got a, I got a decent amount of healing. I got a little bit of damage reduction, so that's good. I am flanked right now, so that's not that's not good. So, young wolf, badly injured, badly injured. Okay, so I at least try to keep myself alive for a little bit. Um, you now. God's Pledge, 17 Endurance, and 61 Endurance, and then I bonus to Inflection as well, so probably gonna use that in just a sec. Get more damage. Yeah, we'll use it right now. Hold your ground. Nice. I like that a lot. Don't you die, don't you die, don't, don't you die, you fucking douche, oh my god, I'm gonna die, 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 Hold your ground. die, oh god, I'm gonna use Gaunt's Pledge again, those are per rest, Gaunt's Pledge, so, oh, I guess I didn't need to, I guess I fucked myself on that one. Cool. I have second wind as well. I have a lot of healing right now, so that's good. Let's see. Plus 46 endurance. That's good. Probably should have used second wind before I used Dawn's Pledge. That's alright, though. Because that's a per encounter ability, so. Oh my gosh, this wolf is near death. Almost there. Almost there. Come on, buddy. This is a bit of a grind, but... Oh my god, how much endurance does this thing have? Alright. Oh, I used it for no reason. That's okay. Yes? That's alright. Like I said, that's a per encounter ability, so... Okie dokie. Absolutely. I know we can get some stuff up here, so let's see if we can. Just quick save. Let's see. Let's see. These aged walls appear to have once encircled the entire glade. Only a small fragment remains. And the stairs leading to the have crumbled away. So the stairs have crumbled, so let's examine the wall more closely. I don't have any tools. I know you can probably use, like, a hammer. No. Rope and pittance or something like that. Right, let's try to scale the wall. Find a handhold. Yeah, you make your way steadily up the crumbling ruin over the top. Nice. Awesome. So, and I find this guy, and we get some. Don't need that. What's this? I do not think you'll ever see this, but you were right, Fulvano. We should have journeyed south together and been safer for it. I would tolerate all the gloating in the world if I might live to hear it. I put myself out of the reach of the beasts circling below, but I am done for all the same. I do not think I will rise again. However, uh, whoever finds this, pray for me. Perhaps in the next life I, will, I shall be a trapper of wolves. <laughs> so. Oh. Stage. You. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Fulvano's Gloves. 
plus two to dexterity. Hands. Uh, yeah. So I got a plus two to dex. So pretty good. Pretty good stuff. So I'm getting. I'm gonna get a a bonus to my reflex. What else do I get a bonus to? Now uh, I get. A, oh, a little bit. Of, a little bit more action speed. So that's good. That's good. Oh my gosh, that was disgusting. Excuse me. Um, all right. So I think we're doing pretty good. I think we're also going to call it quits for the evening. So, um, yeah. Like and subscribe. Climb down. Like and subscribe if you're interested or interested if you like what I do. Um, you're not obligated to do so though. I am just happy that you're here, happy that you're watching, and if you made it this far into my video, thank you. You the real MVP. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Um, bye forever.